Alright, this Ask Miss G is from a guy that has been with his partner, boyfriend, loved one for four years. And their relationship is basically gone. Over. And his partner keeps trying to do things and he can't. You have one of two... I mean, I don't know the level of your relationship. Um, if you've been together for four years, you probably have a lot of commingled assets and commingled responsibilities, like maybe a mortgage or car payments or something like that. Um, and then therefore it gets much more complicated. And I don't know if you your desire is to stay together or to break up. Honestly, I think your relationship's over. If your sex life is gone, your relationship's pretty much gone. Unless you're unable to have sex and he understands it and wants to stay with you and be like, oh, I love you even though you can't get hard or whatever. Um, let's say you love him and you don't want to break up, but your sex life is gone and you don't know what to do about it. The reality is you need something completely different. Meaning, I would suggest opening a relationship. And the best way to do that, I think, is to hire an escort. If you hire an escort, that escort is going to be, it's not about sexual attraction. It's about coming, getting paid, and going. He's there to do a job, which is both of you. He's not going to ignore one and only, you know, if you invite someone from Manhattan or whatever, he's going to be attracted to one of you more than the other. Somebody's going to get ignored, and it's going to become a messy situation. Um... And if you hire an escort, he's not going to call you. He's not going to keep texting you. He's not going to be stalking you. He's not going to be like, hey, I want to hang out again. Do you miss me? No. It's professional. He's there to do a job. And that's that. So I would suggest that if that doesn't rekindle your sexual chemistry in some way, um, then you need to open it wide up and be like, look, I want to stay with you. I want to be married to you, I still want to be your husband, partner, whatever, but I need to start seeing other people too. And then you need to set your guidelines, like, you know, no kissing on the mouth, to safe sex only, blah, blah, blah. But also, I would start having safe sex, if you open your relationship, I would also start having safe sex in your relationship. Even after four years of a monogamous relationship, maybe you have safe sex, maybe you don't, but you would need to start going back to having safe sex in your relationship because you're going to start opening your sexual partners out there and it's a very scary world and you need to protect yourself the other suggestion is breaking up and either way either either decision that you choose you need to realize that a sharp edge heals much faster than a jagged serrated edge so the longer you stretch it out and the longer you drag it out and the longer you carry it over time, the more it's going to hurt and the longer it's going to take to heal. Whatever decision you make, you need to just be like, look, this is it. You know, you could be like doing an optimistic way, like, hey, what do you think about, let's get an escort, let's try something different. You know, let's do a date night and we invite someone into the bedroom. Because if you do it quick, it's going to, you know, be dealt with. You know, he already knows something's up. After several months of no sex and him trying and trying, he's already beating himself up, I'm sure. Like, oh, something's wrong. What am I doing? Am I getting too fat? Am I getting too skinny? Something's changed. And I'm sure he knows that the temperature and the climate is not what it used to be. And I'm sure he wants to fix it. He just doesn't know how. So you need to guide him and let him know, look, our relationship is over. I'm sorry. I hate this about myself. I don't want to be this way, but it is. Or... Let's make it work. But in order to do this, we need to do this. You know? And if he only wants you and you want an open relationship, then, and he wants to stay with you, he needs to respect that. You know, whether he sees other people or not is his business. But if you need to open your relationship, then that's what you need to do. Um, yeah. Good thing gay marriage isn't legal yet, huh? Anyways, um, that's the best advice I can give you. You know, there's no need for you to stay miserable. I know it's been four years, and I'm sure you're deeply rooted and deeply connected to this man. And I'm not saying you have to leave him. I'm just saying that for your best interest, something needs to change.
and it's up to you to do it. Anyways, that was an Ask Misty, and I look forward to your next question.